All right, so it's about 7 a.m. and uh, I found a nice camp, uh, literally a campsite that you would back a car into type campsite last night, which was great. Uh, and I'm moving on. I've got maybe two liters of water and I'm heading 10 miles. I realized that I'm at one, not one, I'm at 384 right now. So another 16 miles and I'll cross 400. So that seems like that's gonna happen today, which is awesome. And I also realized that um, I'm walking through an area that's kind of burned. Maybe you can see some burned trees behind me. Yeah, all those guys down there. Um, this was closed previously, and there was a lot of talk about do we walk through it or around it, and it's open again. So uh, I'm glad I get to walk through it because it wasn't very long, and the, the workaround was very long. Also, there's some kind of uh, endangered species enclosure coming up, something about like frogs or something. So it looks like I'm gonna be walking around that bit of trail, probably today. So we'll see how it goes. But in the meantime, check out this great view, yay. Here's a look at some of the burned area. All these trees are still standing, right? But you look up and all the leaves are gone. The branches, they're all like warped the hill too and this is like nothing compared to what I walked through last night which I couldn't so I couldn't actually get any footage of what I walked through last night um, but lots of like down trees and when a tree goes down it makes it just destroys everything it hits and so it's like almost like a leveled area that looked like a battlefield it was just destroyed so and what's interesting about like, okay, so I, I lived in California for many years. And California was on fire every friggin' year. And I, I don't know, I don't know how to say, like, I was, didn't get it. But after doing this part of the hike so far, what I'm realizing is a lot of California, especially Southern California, is desert. So when you go from the desert into a wooded area, it's pretty incredible that the wooded area is very dry. So when something does spark, all this, all these forests, they're not lush like they are like on the East Coast where, where I grew up in, in New York on Long Island. It's not like a lush forest. It is a dry forest. So when they go, they just go. And these trees are, like I wish I could show you how gigantic this tree is. This root right here, this root is the size of a tree trunk. It's <clears throat> compared to the rest of the tree, which stood through the fire, right? But I've already walked by, I've already walked by so many trees that are gigantic and now on the ground burned up. So it's kind of, wow, look at all this. Wow. So yeah, it's pretty heartbreaking is what, what I'm trying to say. And it makes a lot more sense to me now that I've had to walk through the desert to get here and that these forests are like always on the edge of the desert. So. Yep, still walking through it. Just in every direction. Wow, I was just coming around and over this hill. I'm just about to crest this hill. And there's just so much on the other side of this hill. Look at these trees. Like it's, I'm amazed at standing. I'm pretty sure this is why earlier in the season all this was closed. Like they were probably clearing out all the trees or knocking down the trees that they weren't sure about. Look at that. It's like charred on the outside, but not the inside. Let's see this over here. And it's interesting, this, this is the, the same burn that happened, or same fire, where uh, just yesterday, what was it, Jason was picking up pieces of bark 
that were burned and drawing on the street with them because they were basically natural charcoal. Natural being a burned up tree. I can see off in the distance over there, there's like a line of black trees. Just like, yeah. Oh, it crossed the road down there too. Wow. Here's a look back at what I was just showing you a second ago. I was just walking through all that. Here's a perfect example. So those are all trees. See that line of trees? And all this is empty? That's because all this used to be desert bushes. And now it's just empty because they burn quickly. So all this desert burns up and then the trees catch fire. Wow just flattened on both sides. There's what I was just walking through. I'm curious what's on the other side of this hill, but I don't want to step off trail and damage things even more. So the trail just dropped back down to Highway 2, and I can tell it's Highway 2 because of all of these nice donuts that some cars have made. Oh look, I think that's a restroom. I might actually get to use a real restroom today. That's nice. It's the little things. Okay, I just spotted this. So after crossing the street, it says that this area is closed due to the burn uh, because everything caught fire. And when I look back, past that Jeep over there, I see another sign from the, the trail I just came down. So there was no sign like that when I came from the other direction. So I had no idea I was walking through an area they didn't want you to walk through. So I'm probably gonna have to walk the street now to get to the next bit of PCT. All right, so there's the other side of that closure bit. It's kind of nice walking on the road on a Monday morning. Holy cow, there's like nobody out here. Over the weekend, this road was so busy with fast, fast cars. Glad it's not yesterday. Check this out. It's a whole bunch of burned trees that have been logged and they're removed. And here's the PCT going forward. Let's do it. So note to self, the part that I'm gonna have to come back and walk sometime is 386 to 389. Here's an incredible view. Clouds today are fantastic. I'm walking in like a, like a cloud cover day. So the sun is not hot at all. I highly, highly appreciate it. I love you clouds, thank you. Wow, look at that, we're above all of those clouds. So I'm walking through the area that was open, and wow, there's still a lot of uh, surprising stuff on the trail. Like, look at all this. Like, this tree basically just burned and fell over. It's totally inside of it. And I can't really, I can't even begin to, to speak about how big this is. Like, look at my trekking poles down. So yeah, let's check that out. Like the trekking pole is like, it's about as wide as the trekking pole is long. That's pretty crazy. It's like, it's burnt right up the middle. Check that out. In the middle of this burned stuff, this plant just bloomed. So these tiny flowers, about this big, just popped up out of nowhere. But there's a whole bunch of them on both sides of the path. I just, it's just pretty magical just to suddenly be surrounded by only this. Okay, I'm kind of blown away that this section was didn't have a sign. Like this section seems open. I'm half expecting to get to the end of this and find a sign that says do not enter from the other direction. 
because so far this has been like the most burned up and the most debris on the trail. So I've been just navigating around giant things that are burned and fallen over. So I'm kind of surprised that this section's open and the other two had signs of being closed. Well, the first one let me in with no sign and then had a sign that said you shouldn't be here on the way out. And the second one had a sign on both entrances. And this one did not have a sign coming into it, but I'm wondering if I'm gonna find one on the way out. Hey, I made it to 400 miles on the PCT. I'm super excited and exhausted. <laughs> Special thanks to Jorge, Jason, and Tui Ann. Couldn't have done it without you. All right, so it looks like I'm wrapping up my day. Uh, I'm gonna come in at about 22 miles today, which I'm pretty excited about because that's a high score for me. Anyways, I'm wrapping up today. See you guys next time.